Pedophora, also known as comb jellies, have eight comb rows of fused cilia for, you, for propelling through the water. Most have two long tentacles, but some lack tentacles completely. They resemble Cnidarians, but they are not very closely related and are in different phyla. Most are colorless and give off light, defined as bioluminescence, but some types cannot, like the genus Clerobrachia. Also, they are ancient organisms, as they are around 500 million years old. The phylum Tenophora includes seven orders, with over 200 currently known species. Two fossilized Tenophores were recently found from the Devonian period, and other Tenophore-like forms have been found from the Cambrian period, but these differ more from the current Tenophores. Comb jellies have a wide variety of body shapes, from small, roughly spherical species of less than a centimeter in diameter, to flat and ribbon-shaped forms that reach lengths of up to 2 meters. The majority of tenophores, up to 75%, live in warm waters, but they can be found globally in marine environments, including the Arctic seas. Species of this phylum are native globally, and they may, but they may be locally invasive. They may be found from coastal areas to open waters. This study compares tenophora and cnidarians, as they are very different. Development of tenophora begins with fertilized eggs of most species, rapidly growing in distillated larvae. Tenophores are able to self-fertilize, although cross-fertilization with other individuals is also common. Therefore, they are considered hermaphrodites. And as adults, tenophores release gametes daily for periods of weeks. There is no parental involvement in offspring, and their lifespan is of only a few months. Tenophores are known as voracious predators. All known tenophore species are carnivorous, feeding on ronifers, small crustaceans, and the planktonic larvae of many other species, including clams and snails. Some types also feed on other tenophores. Coloblasts located on the animal's tentacles aid in prey capture. Instead of having stinging cells like cnidarians, they possess sticky cells called coloblasts, and in some species, special cilia in the mouth are used for biting into prey. The known predators of tenophores include other tenophores, cnidarians, medusa, other invertebrates, fishes, whales, and sea turtles. Tenophores have eight comb rows of cilia used for propelling through the water. These ciliary bands are the primary means of locomotion, and their beating is coordinated by an apical sense organ that senses other tenophores around them and keeps track of the animal's vertical position. Most tenophores swim, but one group creeps along the ocean floor. Tenophores have a pair of anal pores, interpreted as homologous with the anus of bilaterian animals, like worms, humans, fish, and snails. They are also radially symmetrical and acelomates. They have two layers of epithelial tissue, and they are neither protosomes or gyrostomes. Tenophores have a positive effect to humans in terms of education and research, but they are poorly studied due to their fragile structures. New studies are using submersible and divers to collect specimens. They have a negative economical importance, though, for humans, as in one case, the Tenopore M. Lydie was actually introduced to the Black Sea in the early 1980s, and within 10 years it had destroyed the fishing industry in the entire region, outcompeting native planktonic fish and disrupting the food chain. Tenophora and Cnidaria share a common ancestor more recently than Tenophora with the other animals. Tenophora is sister taxa with jellyfish, sea stars, sea cucumber, earthworms, squid, crayfish, and perch, as you can see from the cladogram made from the data matrix, with its lineage splitting. Both trees have sponge as the outgroup, as it is the simplest organism. They have similar orders up until jellyfish. The data matrix cladogram also includes nine different organisms, whereas the rRNA tree includes eight, as sea cucumber and sea starch are both known as echinodermata. The trees may differ more than the more complex animals due to the fact that the characteristics chosen for the data matrix may not have well represented what the animals had in common or their differences, and thus they may actually have more similar or different DNA than expected. Fossils have been found from around 520 million years old in the Cambrian period. Many think that tenophores are actually older than cnidaria. Scientists think that tenophores originated from unicellular organisms similar to sponges, placozoa, and cnidarians. 
Scientists are not really sure if, I, if tenophores or periphera branched off from the animal tree first. Periphera are the simplest group, but phylogenetic anal analyses have suggested periphera are more closely related to cnidarians and bilateria than tenophores. The published tree with periphera as the outgroup is similar to the trees generated in the lab, but the one that has tenophora as the outgroup is quite different as the changing of an outgroup can have a dramatic effect on phylogeny.